Hello YouTube. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. This is John, sometimes known as JWK2366. Been a long minute since I did one of these, so I might stammer a little bit. Don't really have no reason to do one, but I'm gonna do a little rambling. And uh, thanks for stopping by, and if you continue watching, thanks for watching. Well, let's do our housekeeping. What am I smoking? I'm smoking my Everyday Carry Briar Shank Cobb. Smoking out of the little uh, Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky that was uh, gifted to me from uh, Jared White. Thanks, Jared. Love it. And uh, sorry about the lean in. What am I sipping on? Just some sweet tea with, uh, with lemon. <clears throat> so, hope everybody's been well, been busy. Um, I think last time I posted a video was around Cobb Foolery, and those were short videos, but been busy as a bumblebee with uh, modding out Cobbs and between working as a nurse full time and just living life in general. And as of recently, I have taken on two apprentices, uh, one being my daughter and the other being a gentleman named Lonnie, um, which is actually a good friend of my daughter Katie's, which you guys know her as Sissy. Um, so I've taken on Sissy and Lonnie as apprentices, and I'm doing my dang on just to teach them the uh, art or craft, if you will, of uh, modern cobs. And, uh, you know, man, there's lots of times when they're in the shop with me, it's just like, a, wow, I didn't realize how difficult it would be to uh, take on apprentices, but I'm glad I did. And uh, let me adjust that chair. I'm glad I did. And it's fun. It's actually brought me and Sissy as father and daughter closer together. Um, both of these young people have, have in-depth past life, so to speak, even though they're young. And uh, I'm looking to do it as a positive change for them, to give them confidence and to build them up and to give them something to do, to busy themselves and to have a way of release, if you will, or a hobby that you can unplug from the world and some of its chaos is that might be troubling you and things and just you know get in the shop and get creative and you know use it as a as an outlet so to speak for them and they're both really excited about it um i will uh show you uh i felt very privileged and honored when lonnie my apprentice, uh, oh, there it is, made his first um, cob mod. Uh, recently, I started doing some cob mods using carbon fiber on the shanks, such as this uh, ants that I've made for myself. And you got the carbon fiber shank. And uh, his first mod, in fact, was uh, this regular little Missouri Merchum legend there we go and carbon fiber shank vulcanite tip and that was his first mod and I was very honored that Lonnie uh, my apprentice gave that to me that 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 was just absolutely a great gift to get and uh, my daughter sissy has really um, gotten into this and I would like to show you guys some of her work right now. This is actually a uh, Missouri Mearsham, uh, Missouri Pride that she's plugged the bottom. Not just a standard factory shank. Showed her how to do the old copper band like I used to do when I first started and showed her how to do the vulcanite stem. I, I really think she did an excellent job on this. And she's pairing these up with individual tampers, such as this, and a uh, like a float stand is the way she's uh, selling them as like a package deal. So if you guys are interested, you can you know check on my 
Instagram page or my Facebook and if they're still available you're welcome to try to pick one up but that's one that she's done and this is another this is just a little little Mazulu type uh, bowl that she uh, cleaned up there again did the old copper band on it and a vulcanite stem you know just keeping it real simple plug the bottom I'm really proud of my daughter uh, Sissy and Lonnie with their achievements and their passion about doing this I feel that by taking on these two as apprentices and teaching them how to mod cobs that you know it, it will keep the art of modding cobs uh, it'll pass it to the next generation one and the second thing is, is it also keeps the interest of uh, piping and the piping community going it, it passes it on to another generation to teach them that it's more than just a, a pipe is just more than a vessel to smoke tobacco from um, it can be a friendship builder and as I've said before it can be a key uh, to open doors and relationships and you know to help relationships grow and stuff so I just want to get on here and be a proud dad and say that I'm very proud of my daughter Sissy and my uh, apprentice Lonnie with the work that they've been doing and uh, you guys be sure to uh, check them out on my IG feed or my Facebook feed if you're interested in picking up one of Sissy's cobs. And remember, you're not a sissy if you smoke a sissy cob. So, thanks for watching. I know it was a bit of a ramble. You guys be good. Live life like there's no tomorrow because we're not promised tomorrow. Y'all take care. Be good. Be blessed. See ya.